In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to all sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those who set firm the foundation of your love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, occupied the whole land and attacked Samaria, which he besieged for three years. In the ninth year of Hoshea, king of Israel, the king of Assyria took Samaria and deported the children of Israel to Assyria, settling them in Halah at the Hebor, a river of God's hand and the city of the Medes. This came about because the children of Israel sinned against the Lord, their God, who had brought them up from the land of Egypt, from under the domination of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and because they venerated other gods. They followed the rights of the nations who the Lord had cleared out of the way of the children of Israel, and the kings of Israel, whom they set up. And though the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and seer, give up your evil ways and keep my commandments and statutes in accordance with the entire law which I enjoined on your fathers, and which I sent you by my servants, the prophets. They did not listen, for were as stiff necked as their fathers, who had not believed in the Lord their God. They rejected the statutes, the covenant which he had made with their fathers, and the warnings which he had given them, till, in his great anger against Israel, the Lord put them out of his sight. Only the tribe of Judah was left. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. O God, you have rejected us and broken our defenses. You have been angry. Rally us. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. You have brought the country and split it open. Prepare the cracks in it, for it is tottering. You have made your people feel hardships. You have given us stupefying wine. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Have not you, O God, rejected us, so that you go not forth, O God, with our armies? Give us aid against the foe, for worthless is the help of men. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us.
Stop judging that you may not be judged. For as you judge, you will, so you will, will you be judged, and the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me remove that splinter from your eye, while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Judgmentalism or taking harsh judgment is one of the common human weaknesses that we always encounter in our life. <clears throat> Whether we like it or not, it is easier for us to pass judgment, to do critic and to find faults with others, which oftentimes blinded our own imperfections and forgets to see the reality in ourselves. And sometimes when we do this harsh judgment, it is directly or indirectly, sometimes consciously and unconsciously. But it is a fact that we always encounter in our life. And Jesus is offering this good reflection on judgment based on today's gospel reading. Although we are so aware of the biblical and scriptural image of God, especially in the Old Testament, as being a judge, as you have heard in the first reading from the book of Kings, that because of the infidelity and unfaithfulness of those people during that time, because they did not follow God's commandments, especially they worship other gods, and that's why they were punished and also they were given as a kind of a reprimand from God. Because we know that the image of a judge is the one who punishes the evil doers and give reward to those who are righteous and good. And Christ is pointing out in today's gospel reading that Though we can judge based on our own personal perspective, on our own subjective knowledge, but we cannot have that absolute judgment or final ju judgment to other people, especially in terms of salvation and condem condemnation, because that kind of judgment is always reserved for God. As Jesus is saying, stop judging that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged, and the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Because when we make a judgment, most of the time it is off the mark and impartial because we cannot know the totality of the person. Although we have judges in our society, and they always base their judgment from the law, either by civil law or canon law. And I think that judgment is just because of that. But what Christ is telling us is we cannot judge totally a person 
most especially in terms of salvation and condemnation. But Jesus is offering another sign and perspective that aside from giving harsh judgment and criticism to other people, Christ is offering us to make a positive response by taking the best on other people in order for us to grow in love. What Jesus is pointing in today's gospel reading is kindness in judgment is nothing less as a sacred duty for all Christians. And in this context that Christ affirms this statement by saying he who judges his neighbor favorably will be judged favorably by God. And I think that is also the basis of the uh, 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 of this what you give to others and how you treat others will return to you in like manner. So in other words if we make the kind of positive comment and at the same time taking the best from other people will be a more and also a way of our relationship. Despite of its difficulty, I know it is not that easy, Christ gave us this new law, the commandment of love, treating others not as they deserve, but as God wishes them to be treated. That's why God and Christ gave us this commandment. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And that is the law of the new commandment that Christ wants us to do and to live out in our life. Because we believe that in embracing the new commandment of Christ, it will lead us to the life of holiness and perfection. As what the Gospel tells us, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Because only in holiness and that perfection in following God that we can be worthy to enter and share in God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. in our opinion and judgment of others. That members of the clergy may be strengthened and guided by the peace and mind of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That national leaders may be led by the spirit of life in promoting the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who have been harmed by people they trusted may find solace through the merciful care and blessings of God. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. That each of us here may have God's help in repenting of our own sins and growing in holiness and virtue. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. That those who have died may be welcomed into paradise. To live in the fullness of God's presence forever. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. And for the Father's day intentions for which this Mass is being offered, and for all those intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Merciful Father, in his prayers and intentions we bring, help us to express all our needs and all our, our hopes. We ask these prayers for Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and bread of human hands, could we come from us the bread of life. But the mystery of this water and wine, we have come to share with me and to share with you. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and bread of human hands, it will become our spiritual bread. Pray, brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of consecration and praise, and by the cleanse by its action, we may make an offering of heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy, you redeemed him through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heavens and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise. As we acclaim. Oh, 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 the Lord God of heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The Lord God in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord God in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the pomp of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance.
chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your Blessed Apostles, Glorious Martyrs, and all the saints, especially Saint Paulinus, John Fisher, and Thomas Moore, who have placed you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. The peace of the Lord. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you to those of you in home. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace.
the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The eyes all look to you, Lord, and you give them their food in due season. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. May you have a blessed day and wonderful week. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty and loving God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.